The fourth installment of Fargo is about America, as they all have been. But this year is a period piece. It's set in 1950. It's the black mob versus the Italian mob fighting over Kansas City. Italians, they're the past. They just don't know it yet. So we build. We expand. Lloyd Cannon, he's a gangster. He's the head of the black mob. I don't know if Lloyd even thinks the American dream is possible, as prescribed by other people. But he knows he can get power if he's got enough money. We know the climb is hard. We thank you for that climb, because climbing makes us strong. They were born in huts. We're the goddamn Roman Empire. My character's name is Josto, the son of Donatello Fada. I think he's a person that burns with a lot of anger and has like a real S list. I could say shit list. I could say he's a real shit list. We're trying to have both of these crime families coexist. And because it's Fargo, we know that shit will happen. Decorative? Or you just like the smell? It's a warning to the other rat. It's our biggest cast yet. There's maybe 25 main characters. At the heart of it is a young girl, Ethel Rita Smutney, who is the daughter of Thurman and Dibrol, who run a funeral home. She's 16 years old. She's very wise beyond her years. And she's the narrator of Fargo. My History Report by Ethel Rita Pearl Smutney. It's the biggest and the best of Fargo. They're really going for it in this one. The scale is enormous. Like all three other installments of Fargo added up equals the size of this one. It's a historical, multi-generational epic. It deals with, as Fargo does, miscommunication. Uh, what are you saying? You got a funny way of talking. Yeah, I'm from Minnesota. Probably will become a bloodbath of sorts at some point. You think about the people who come to this country, many of them leave behind lives in which they carried a lot of respect with them, and in coming to America, they have to accept a lower rung on the ladder. What's it gonna take? Gentlemen, this is a private hospital. We serve only a certain class of people. A certain class of people? St. Bartholomew is a few miles away. That's the public hospital for your kind of people. Fargo is exploring, in a way, the history of America. The mixing of all these different nations. Business, family, country. What kind of power do we have? What do we deserve? Parenthood and killing. Does the world have to be like this? It's a timely story, really asking the question, if America is a nation of immigrants, how does one become American? I think that's a lot of it. There's a few other things, but I don't want to tell you. No killing. No.